Alright, we're getting ready for second quarter action. Fortunes of second quarter brought to us by the Sea Grow, all the local go for great fish and excellent seafood. And uh want to get by the Seagrow during the holiday season. They're open through uh, January 3rd. The Seagrow, a proud sponsor of Where the Swords. The so Rose stopped the second period with the same folks that were in there at the end. Got to make those bunnies, Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Nice little outside shot there. Gets the wheel is uh, breaking their 8-0 run. So a couple of, couple of games of runs here. 16 run for Nantucket and an 8 run for Sturgis. A banker. And I thought that was a 3, but they only put 2 up on the board. Yep. So Nantucket has a 20 to 10 lead here with 7 minutes to go in the first half. You're watching this on Visitor Network TV, channel 99. Dick Herman, Dennis Cameron, Gino Gang. As we open up the winter season. It's on the internet. It's also on the internet. Go to GinoTV.com. Second three-point call, uh, three-second call on, the, on Nantucket. Irving back in the game and uh, Justin Health it out. Yeah, you can't hang around down there waiting for the uh, layups, waiting for the rebounds. Gonna get called. Wills are playing a 2 3 set, set zone. They almost had the steal, but it was pushed over to the uh, Sturgis weak side uh, forward. Four. Six seconds left in the clock. And Matt Correa comes up with the rebound. They try to pass it around a little bit too long. And they yeah. wound up having to take a, 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 a three-point shot. Two on one. Nice pass. Way up there, yeah. That was a nice shot. He had Lewis all over him. Career moving in. Nice block. Wow. Sturge is putting up a little a little fight here. Nice. Down eight. Yeah. Number 23 is a player. Nice paint. Oh, you have to make those guys. Yeah. You work hard to get them. Raheem Smith with the shot. No. Irving couldn't control the rebound. He had it in his hands, but it slipped off. Very sloppy, very sloppy right now on both ends. Check out the fairgrounds for your final weekend of uh, football action. 15 HD TVs, catch your favorite team. Is this the last weekend coming up? This is yep. the last weekend coming up. The Bears will be rested to their misery, Gino. Yeah. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> well, I've, I've missed you for the last seven weeks, Gino, so I've, it's, I've, I've, I've all this beer stuff built up in me. Good block by Matt Career and uh, Career gets in on the blocking yeah. action. Right now, it's just a... Good boy, Jake. Settle, settle, settle. We'll reach in foul on 12. Joe Rapaki, CPA, small firm, big difference, helping self-employed people on the integrity with their taxes for over 15 years. Give them a call, 228-9090. The boys come into this game two and all, so this would be a nice uh, Shoot it. good, good way to start to win, and then uh, they'll have a little break before they go to the tournament. Right. Exactly. We hope to see them play Howell on January third. We found out tonight that that game was uh, postponed. No makeup date yet for it. 
Games are all the ride. There won't be any more home games during the uh, Christmas break. Oh, nice play. Wills hustling. And they had him by the wrist. He had him by the wrist. He's, he's gonna say he's gonna say he grabbed him before he got the ball up. Which is probably the right call there. Because he wanted to get his hand in there before he get in position to make the shot. Rally Pizarro on the other side there is gonna take it. Good rebound. Good rebound by number 23. He was impressing me. Yeah, he's a good ball hand and a good passer. All right. Travel. What'd you think about the big Celtics trade, Dick? I sort of expected it, and... Uh, you got a timeout I, I, on the floor by Sturgis. You know, the, the, the thing about that trade is, well, people say, well, they didn't get enough in value back. Well, the, the trade wasn't for value. The trade was for that 12.9 trade exemption, so they could, they can use that money to get a big guy. The, the three guys they got, they probably... I'd be surprised if any of those three are on the team next year. You know, they're, they're, they're just bodies for this year, and we get we get rid of one body, so we really only picked up two bodies. You know, we get rid of Rondo. He was the player. Uh, he, he, he he was a moody player, but he he rose to the occasion in the big games. You know, and what what amazed me is he, he was here almost nine years. You know, nine years. Yeah, that, yeah. That was surprising. Yeah, that. I was surprised when I heard that stat. I'm saying, oh, he was just here a few years. Nine you know. years goes by like that, just Dick. Like that, you know. And he was but a big he was a big player on the. When uh, you get to be 39, team. Dick, yeah, yeah. days fly by. Yeah. <laughs> he was he was a main main player on that the, with the big three, and that's what he plays good with the big three. Absolutely. He made the big three better, and and somehow he, he had a better. Skill at making the big three guy type guys better than making the average player guy better. Yeah, and that's, that's, why, that's, that's the secret in. of a great player when, when you make everybody else yeah. around you better. So he'll go out there and he'll uh, he'll make them a better team and uh, see, they, they want to get back to the playoffs. Um, right, Dallas and Willis. Willis are in pressure defense, yeah. full court. But the best the best tweet I saw there were tons of oh, tweets. Go, ooh, there were tons of tweets going on and. Uh, the best tweet I saw is that they said we should have got uh, Tyler Sagan back. Now, who's Tyler Sagan? Tyler Sagan is the Bruins guy that the Bruins gave up on because suppose he was a party. He's leading the league in scoring right now with 25 goals. <laughs> Way to go, Tyler. And I like I like that tweet, you know. Because <laughs> the Bruins need a scorer desperately. And the Red Sox made some big news. Red Sox, I heard an odds-on favorite out in Vegas already. Why? For the moves that they made. What did they make? Well, uh, I think Pablo Sandoval there, and they picked up a couple of pitches. They still don't have an ace, but they sort of have five quality starters. Beautiful block by Irving. Irving's up to what, three blocks yep. or four? Ryan Allen. Oh! Say, uh, they can say he was fouled on now. They can, they can say he was fouled on that. So he's going to get two shots. That's really that, great these free throws coming up are brought to play Santos Rubbish. And will we clean up the island? Go Will is Santos. So Irving's showing a little bit of everything there, Dennis. Yeah, he makes the first. Makes the second. Good free throw shooting. Let's go, Sawyer! I'd rather do it. Oh, yeah. Good steal. Left-handed shot by Ryan Allen. Yeah, the, uh... This unit here... has just a little bit too much speed. Yeah, too much speed in the end. Size. Surges can't do... Do a lot against them. Yeah, he had, his, he, had his foot out, he had his foot out of bounds, and the guys in the front row made the call for the official. 
Yeah, the whale's got this starting, starting five in there. Good amount of fans here, Dennis. Yeah. The adult section across from us and the student section over there has a lot of students here. So we're talking about a lot of students being away and a lot of students still here at the game. Blocked out of bounds and then tucking a gain possession. And boy, that whole play only took six seconds off the, the shot clock, Dennis. Manalvo Powell with the drive. Remember you could run the court in six seconds? I, I think I could, yeah, oh, back in the you day. You remember that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, it's hard to get back there, but <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you were a 12 second guy, Dick. I was, <laughs> I... Do you I, like I, Bill I, Russell? I, I, you I just, I, just I, lumber down. I just lumber down. I, and if I could, if I could get 15 seconds, I would use it. Push. If they had me in the, the breaking the press thing, I made sure I was over the, uh, the half court line. Because <laughs> if they passed the ball to me, the 10 second buzzer would go off. Although I don't think we had them in those days. <laughs> Allen. Can't get it to fall. That's how I learned to fresh it. Big shot there for sure. That's how I learned over the back. Over the back there. Non shooting. 113 to go in the first half. Neil Tucker's in the bonus, but Sturgis isn't yet. Oh. Oh. You, you, never, you never throw the ball at their feet unless no. you bounce it. No. Big guys have a hard time bending down. I've seen a lot of soccer goalies that have a hard time <laughs> stopping that. <laughs> Shoot at their feet. Yeah. Telegraph the pass. Oh. oh my God. Two blown shots. You want to win, you got to make your money. Set the clock on that. Which 30 seconds left in the uh, half. They didn't, re they didn't reset it. They should have on a kick, no? I would agree with you, Dick. Clock's off now. Kentucky can hold, they don't. Give Sturgis a chance. Farrell got an open shot. Doesn't count, doesn't go anyways. We played one half here at John O'Neill Gymnasium. John Nantucket Wheel is 26. The visiting Sturgis, 15. 